Here's your here's your 120 volt sine wave, right? Right. Okay. So when you when you dim, you're not lowering the voltage. You're actually removing power from the circuit. Kyle, you want to see this? Come on over. So so when you look at the power coming out of the wall, it looks like this. So this is the voltage going up and down. That's why it's AC. It's alternating current. Correct. So this is positive current. This is negative current. Okay. And so the power is what's underneath the curve being delivered, right? So when you, let's say you wanted to dim 50%, if you didn't turn, if you left this off and then turned it on halfway through the hump and then rode that wave down, let it turn off and then turn on halfway through the hump and up, now... That's reverse phase. Th this is forward phase oh, forward. because you chopped off the oh, forward part of the sign. And it's 50% dim because it's 50% off and 50% on, and then 50% off and then 50% on. Okay. And if you had an incandescent bulb, it's actually tricking your eyes. You think it's 50% dim, but really it's 100% on for half the time. So it's blinking on and off, but you can't see it. So, that's, so this is forward phase. Now what someone discovered is that's really hard on electronic drivers because what happens is it's fully off and then it spikes onto the absolute peak of the voltage curve and then rides it down gently and then it comes over here and then spikes it on and so it's really hard on the electronics to get this huge surge right. of current through the circuit. So what someone engineer said is he said, well if we ride the voltage up gently and then just shut it off, it's a lot easier on the electronic circuitry. So that's why your electronic uh, uh, ELV, electronic low voltage like devices, reverse. like reverse phase. And so then you come down here and then you ride this one on very gently and then shut it off. So this is a reverse phase, this is forward phase. So that was it. Good stuff.